Hey guys, it's about too dang cold to go outside, so I thought that I would do a video today on a video that i seen on YouTube. Uh, the name of the YouTube channel is Iron Trap Garage, Iron Trap Garage, and today they were working on a 1946 or 1947 uh, Lincoln steering wheel that they didn't know exactly what year it was, but it's made of Lucite. Uh, L-U-C-I-T-E, Lucite, uh, Lincoln Steering Wheel. And he said fully restored that that steering wheel would bring, uh, you know, like $1,500 to $2,000. So my jaw just fell to the ground. Of course, there's not any steering wheels like that around here where I live. I, if, if you've watched my channel any length of time, I've probably mentioned a few times I know that I used to collect uh, steering wheels. So uh, those days are long gone. Everything's gone to airbags now. So I really don't even bother to look anymore. So for steering wheels, you can't really find them. So, but I used to be a regular at it. 10, 12, 15 years ago, I had a bunch of steering wheels, a bunch. But I've since just about sold them all out. And uh, this is one of the stories I was going to tell you. I went to a junkyard uh, years ago, probably 10 years ago. And uh, it was one of those kind of junkyards that you could drive right by it on the road. And like 10 or 15 foot off the road, you would never know there was a junkyard there. It's just one of those old timey junkyards that nobody really knew about except a few people. So I went with some of my friends one one day, and uh, we went to that junkyard. It's in Middle Tennessee. And uh, the, the junkyard's long gone now before anybody starts asking. Try to scoot up in this chair so I can talk better. Uh, anyway, I ran across one of these butterfly steering wheels. Now, you, this is eBay, and you can see that uh, they repop these now. These butterfly steering wheels. If you've never seen one, that they're talking about the horn ring. Kind of looks like a butterfly. It is pretty unique. Uh, anyway, I found one. I found one in a '51 Chevy that was next to a creek. So when the creek would rise from all the rain, uh, you know, it'd come up into the floorboard of the car. Well, the floorboard was gone in it. So you know, uh, all that was left was just really the body. And what was left of it, you know, but wasn't much of that. But this steering wheel was in it. But the car was butted right up against on each side against two other cars. You couldn't budge that door open. There was not enough room. So only way for me to get in it was to get on the roofs of cars, walk myself over there with my tools, crawl down in between the windows and to get in the car. To get this steering wheel. Well, I didn't mind doing that at all, but there was a great big hole in the ground, about the middle ways of the dash in the ground, of something that had made a home in there. I don't know what kind of animal was in there, but it was something big. So I took a pretty good sized tool with me. So if something come out of the hole to get me or bite me or whatever, I was going to whack it upside the head because once I was in the car, after crawling through the side glass in between two cars, you know, which was a pretty good, pretty good uh, job to get in to begin with. There's no way out. Uh, anyway, uh, I got the steering wheel off and nothing come out of the hole, even though I, I knew something was in there. Uh, there was no... No grass growing around it or nothing. It was just a slick like something made a home and around the edge, you know, and it was just something made a home. Anyway, I had nightmares about that for a couple of nights thinking about, boy, what if something had come out? But anyway, uh, I was just going to show you this is, this is what it looked like. It was in very, very good condition. And this was before the, the repops. So I'm going to kind of show you here a little bit horn button there. If I can get a better picture of it, I'll find it here in a minute. There. 
Now, doesn't that look like a Pontiac Firebird or, or, or a Trans Am emblem from a Pontiac? I thought that was the neatest thing. And when I seen that steering wheel, horn uh, button there with, the, with that Firebird or whatever it is, I just had to have it. Hole or no hole in the ground, I wanted that steering wheel. I told my wife, I said, I'll never find find another one like this. And, you know, it's just pretty unique. And I, I was wanting to see it, so, I, well, I was wanting it real bad. So, anyway, I wound up getting it out of there. I'm trying to get this to go back to where it was at. I thought there was a better picture. Let me see. Maybe it's, maybe it's this one right here. Well, when I want it to work, it won't. There we go. Anyway, I got the steering wheel out of the car. Finally got myself maneuvered to get out in between two cars through the window glass on the side. You know, you roll down the window. That's how I got in and got out. And I knew if something come out of that hole, you know, I would have to go out head first in order to get away from it, which would leave my legs and feet, you know, pretty much... Uh, defenseless so I'm glad nothing came out but anyway I got a steering wheel just like this one and uh this is before they done the repops and I think I sold it for like three fifty or four hundred dollars to a guy in California but as you can see they repop them now this one's two two hundred and eighty five dollars but uh that was one of the steering wheels that of all the hundreds that I have collected that stood out. This is another one that stood out. Uh, and this is not it. This this here is just wall art, whatever. I found this in the creek. It's a 59 or 60 Impala steering wheel. As you can see, it's in real rough condition. The splines that holds the steering wheel to the steering column are all gone. Th this is just wall art. That's what I call it. And uh, anyway, let me get back to my point. The second steering wheel that was the rarest one I've, I guess I've ever found was a 58 Impala steering wheel. It's a one year steering wheel. And uh, I was lucky enough to find a steering wheel, but no horn button. Now the difference between a 59 and a 60 is this is a 59 or 60. It's got this little slot right here on each side. On a 58, it's got it here, slots here and here. You know, on e on each side, I'm trying to find it through this camera. And uh, anyway, the horn ring, as you can see, this one is broke. The horn ring, excuse me, the horn, talking like Elmer Fudd, the horn ring went all the way around the steering wheel on a 58, on up, on around the top of the steering wheel, and back down. So they just made them one year like that because when you, a lot of people that when they had their 58 Impalas, they'd mash the horn at the top. Well, it would snap off because as you can see, this is pop metal. So it would snap off. So the next year when 59 come out, they went to this design down here at the bottom. So, sorry, I can't see through the camera very well. But anyway, this is a poor example, but it's all I've got. But I've got a 59 Impala steering wheel on my 62 two-door hardtop car. If you've seen that video, then you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I wound up, uh, as I said, I got, got sidetracked. I found a 58 Impala steering wheel. I didn't have the guts, you know, the horn ring or nothing. They did not repop them at the time either. So it took me about two years, maybe three, to finally locate a 58 Impala horn ring that wasn't broke which was very unusual. So I got it, matched it up with the steering wheel I had, and I put it on eBay for sale. Well, that thing wound up in Australia. And this guy, I got to talking to him, uh, you know, through, somehow through eBay, you know, you can send messages through eBay, excuse me, eBay of, you know, people that's bought stuff from you. Well, he said he lived in Australia and he had a 58 Impala that he bought here in the United States and had it shipped to Australia. And I thought, well, man, that's a pretty cool story. So anyway, my 58 Impala steering wheel is now 
on a 58 Impala in Australia. So I thought that's a pretty interesting story. Uh, something, you know, I won't ever forget it. And my wife still stays in contact with them. They said it's been really, really hot over there and dry. Of course, I know you've heard about the uh, fires over there in Australia. So uh, I think they're needing some rain. And I'd like to give them some of ours, but because uh, it rains here all the time. But anyway, uh, I just thought I'd do a little bit of a story time with you today and just tell you about two interesting steering wheels. Maybe you have maybe you learned something. Maybe you already knew all this stuff, but it's just something that sticks out in my mind. Anyway, if you like this kind of stuff, story time stuff, I have a whole bunch of stories. I bet y'all don't know about me or some of the stuff that I've done. If you like this kind of stuff, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment and say I like it. Because it's, it's really too cold to do anything outside. I'm kind of stuck in the house. So, uh, as I said, please subscribe. Leave a comment. Give me a big old thumbs up. I'm on Instagram. Primered is best. All one word. And Facebook. Primered is best. I appreciate you watching the video. I don't mean to be boring, but as I said, it's just too dang cold to go outside. It's been in the 20s during the heat of the day, and it's just too dang cold. So, no need in getting sick, is there? Hope y'all's having a great day. Hope it's warm where you're at. And I'll catch you next video. I'll see you later.